pay genuine well wishes and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. On the outside, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 to, in spite of the three waves of Corona, with the fourth wave variants in full swing in India, with all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist from good-hearted preacher Rosaria Suresh back with altruistic delight, reborn again an infant for my 177th video, 177, on Unveil of Publication on YouTube today, 20th September 2022, Tuesday. The topic for today is Russia-Ukraine conflict. Americans are the root cause. I assure you my videos are short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. All of us are aware of the Russia-Ukraine war commenced in February 2022 and still raging with no end in sight. This video is to explain why Americans are the root cause with facts and figures. Another war is brewing between China and Taiwan. Taiwan is a major manufacturer of semiconductors. Once again, the perpetrators, also known as culprits, are none other than the same China, America. USA are like Haina in the sense that they are very much more cunning than even wild animals and never trustworthy. They always poke their nose in international affairs for their own benefit. Just to think of how many countries we have ruined so far, most recent being Iraq. They entered Iraq only to loot the sweet crude oil that was available at very shallow depths. Iraq was one of the rich countries in the world, but now Iraqis are begging for arms and females are walking the streets attributed to sexual abuse by Americans. Why US dollar is a universal currency in international trading? It's a clever manipulation by Americans to be the most prosperous country in the world. Let me proceed with the selected topic, guys. How many of you know that this conflict commenced in 2014 itself? Go through the following and then you'll understand why Americans are the root cause for this unwanted enmity between two countries that used to be so friendly. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, USSR, in 1991, Ukraine and Russia maintained close ties. From early 2021 to January 2022, Russia built up a massive military presence surrounding Ukraine, including from within neighboring Belarus. Russian President Vladimir Putin criticized the enlargement of North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, and demanded that Ukraine be barred from ever joining the military alliance. At the 2008 Bucharest summit, Ukraine and Georgia sought to join NATO. The first protests across southern and eastern Ukraine in 2014 were largely negative native expressions of discontent with the new Ukrainian government. Ukraine has become the bone of contention between Washington and Moscow. Russia wants the West to keep Ukraine and other former Soviet Unions out of NATO. Halt weapons deployments near Russian borders and roll back forces from Eastern Europe. Ukraine wants to join NATO, which has not gone, gone well with Russia. Russia thinks if Ukraine is allowed to join NATO, the group would move closer to Russia's borders. If Ukraine joins NATO, it is eligible to get support from the group's members in case of external attacks. So Russia believes Ukraine could attempt to take take back Crimea if it joins NATO. Putin too expressed his concerns in this regard recently. Hence, Russia demands the best to stay out of Ukraine as Putin wants to restore Moscow's influence through the post-Soviet space. Moreover, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia lost control of 14 former republics including Ukraine. Putin considers this as tragic as both countries shared a single historic and spiritual space. The U Russian president demands guarantees from the West and Ukraine. USA operating the nuclear plant besides hazardous chemical manufacturing plants in Ukraine, most probably to manufacture banned nuclear weapons and biological bodies. Ukraine, with the West Ham, also known as American Health, substantially bolstered its armed forces after 2014. If Russia attacked its full vigor, considering the arsenal, Ukraine would have ceased to exist within a few days. But they adopted a soft approach, losing nearly half their battle tanks and so many of the armed forces. Their battle tanks were destroyed by tactical javelin throw missiles developed by Americans, especially for this purpose. Americans are providing all requested paraphernalia to Ukraine, which has only added more fuel to the fire. The United States has pushed forward policies toward Ukraine that Putin and other Russian leaders see as an existential threat. The point 
they have made repeatedly for many years. America's obsession with bringing Ukraine into NATO and making it a western bulwark on Russia's border. Biden administration had reached to the outbreak of war by doubling down against Russia. Washington and its western allies are committed to decisively defeating Russia in Ukraine and employing comprehensive actions to greatly weaken Russian power. The United States is not seriously interested in finding a diplomatic solution to the war. There is a danger that the war will escalate as NATO might get dragged into the fighting and nuclear weapons might be used. I don't even like to think of that kind of a situation. The world would end. Basically, Russia was provided, provoked in multiple ways by capitalist countries in collusion with the USA. Best indicator that Putin is not bent on conquering and absorbing Ukraine is a military strategy Moscow has employed from the start of the campaign. The Russian military did not attempt to conquer all of Ukraine. That would have required a classic blitzkrieg strategy that aimed at quickly overrunning all of Ukraine with armed, armored forces supported by tactical air power. Putin and other Russian leaders surely understand from the Cold War that occupying countries in the age of nationalism is invariably a prescription of never-ending trouble. The Soviet experience in Afghanistan is a glaring example of this phenomenon. The taproot of the crisis is the American-led effort to make Ukraine a western bulwark on Russia's border. Ukraine's military also began participating in joint military exercises with NATO forces. There is little doubt that starting in early 2021, Ukraine began ra moving rapidly toward joining NATO. If the West had not pur pursued NATO e expansion into Ukraine, it is unlikely that there would be a war in Ukraine today. And Crimea would be still be a part of Ukraine. In a sense, Washington played a central role in leading Ukraine down the path of destruction. History will judge the United States and its allies harshly for their remarkably foolish policy on Ukraine. All countries are affected adversely in some way or other, including India, of course. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal. So, we will live through our videos forever. You better get the meaning, guys. Okay, debates, discussion on open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me pull the plug here. We will meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements you have expressed are solely in mind based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with the closed caption, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation, zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. Today I should have made it in less than 10 minutes really. This time limit is self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural, unwanted, unnatural, maybe bio-war and cyber-war events like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays the way for apocalypse and extension of all sentient species on earth for no fault of others. Rest in peace and harmony.